So YouTube's PZZ in here. Well, things look quite different than they did uh, last time I made a video out here. As you can tell, it is that tree actually got pretty yellow. I mean, it still looks nice out here, but the trees are definitely a lot more bare. Like, remember that one tree that I thought? Yeah, that tree right there. That was like peach colored. Now it's just like completely brown and weird looking. So yeah, things look way different. As you can see, there are leaves all over the driveway, all over the driveway. So yeah, we got a yellow tree here though. That's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah. Um, so something interesting. This might actually be the well. I don't know if it'll be the very last, but we are definitely coming into winter. Uh, in fact, tomorrow. It's going to be one, I think actually tomorrow will be the first day where the high is in the 30s. That is right, the 30s. For those of you who, yeah, those of you who live in warmer areas like California and such, you're probably going like, what? 30s? The high of 30s? I think the high actually is 36 to be specific. So yeah, snow. Actually, yeah, snow is um, predicted to be coming soon. My physics teacher actually said that we will be having school on Tuesday. He's, we, he, we were going to have a test. We we're going to have a test. He says it's going to be on Tuesday because he knows for a fact we're going to be there. I really don't know about Monday, though. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we get we cancel on Monday. I usually don't like it when school gets canceled, but hey, it's nice to have a break. And I'm not really that fond. I mean, I do like this semester. But, eh, I have mixed feelings. I really like my drafting class. Some of the kids in that class, though, are a little bit weird. And a little bit disrespectful. Um, there's, like, one girl in that class, and the rest of them are guys. And they're just not very, you know, they just give her a hard time. I mean, she's cool with it. No, I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know if I'd say she's cool with it. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just really annoying, but yeah, I do definitely like drafting. I actually did do a little bit of switcheroo with my net, with second semester. Um, I believe I might have already told you guys what I was going, what my original schedule looked like. Man, there's spiderwebs all over the place. Um, before I did the switcheroo, my schedule for next semester looked like this. First block, actually I didn't have a first block at the time. Second block would be game art and design third block would be creative writing and fourth block was going to be afm which stands for advanced functions and modeling uh another name for it that you might have heard is called stats or statistics so yeah there you go um it's a math class i mean obviously <laughs> you can probably tell uh from the name even so yeah but after my switcheroo this is what my schedule looks like now it's going to be AFM first, I, I switched that from four, fourth to first, because, like, I actually signed up for that class thinking that, you know, I could use another math class, but as actually, as it turned, like, I signed up for it as if it was an elective or something, but as it turns out, it's actually required, we were actually required to take a fourth math. I actually did not know that. I, for some reason, I thought that after Algebra 2, you know, you know, after completing three maths, you were done, but nope, you have to take four. I did not know that. <laughs> So, but anyways, I'm not complaining. I mean, I, I do look forward to math classes. It's just, you know, it's math. I, I have mixed feelings about math, but I do enjoy math. It is something really good to get to know and get good at. But anyways, that's first now. And then next I have game art design still. Um, after that, I've taken out creative writing entirely. Um, I don't even know why I signed up for that class. Actually, I signed up for that class because I was... I'm always told that I'm really good at writing, but here's the deal. The, the teacher for that class is also my English teacher for this semester. And I also had the same teacher for English uh, my sophomore year. Now in my sophomore year, I actually really enjoyed this teacher. Well, I won't say I enjoyed this teacher. I mean, he's, you know, but a lot of the kids in that class were absolutely just unbelievably disrespectful towards him. Unbelievably so. So I thought that that's why 
you know, I mean, I, I didn't really exactly think he was a great teacher, but I thought that the reason why he wasn't a great teacher was because of those kids. They were just being mean to him, and they, as a result, we were like, you know, getting, um, you know, they were worsening the experience for everybody. But as it turns out, that wasn't actually the case. He is actually a teacher like that, because this semester, we do actually have a, um, a pretty good class, actually. A very good class, in fact. Um, our class, I mean, there's one, there is one kid who's kind of like, you know, who is a little bit disrespectful, but just one. You know, that's better than everybody. And, uh, you know, he's okay. I mean, you know, he cra he does actually crack jokes now. He used to not crack jokes in my sophomore year, but he does crack jokes now, and that's always fun. I like it when he cracks jokes, because, I mean, they're, they're kind of funny. But, you know, I just laugh, because I think they're actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I just, eh, eh, I don't know. I just don't want to take creative writing with him. I mean, I do know that he's pretty good. He does enjoy that class, so therefore we make it fun. I do know he does make it fun. It's just, eh, writing is just not my thing. And I'm getting a little bit sick of that English class, to be honest with you guys. I actually never thought I, that would happen. Um, I had a really great teacher last year, so I'm thinking that I'm just biased to her now. So yeah, <clears throat> anyways. After that, um, I've dropped creative writing, and I'm now taking Visual Arts 1. I happen to know the teacher. Um, the teacher uh, happens to know my family pretty well. Um, my dad's side of the family, to be exact. The people who I went on that beach trip with. Um, actually, we saw him there. <laughs> he actually recognized me my cousin, which actually really surprised me. Like, I, 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 I don't know. He just did. Usually, teachers don't recognize students when they're not in school. I don't know how he recognized both me and my cousin when we were on vacation. That was actually really funny, in my opinion. And I made a joke on, on my Facebook that like, ugh, this, this vacation's already looking bad because we just saw a teacher the first day. Yeah. It was, yeah, that, that should be a good class. Um, should be a very good class, actually. I'm, I'm not really into being an artist, but I do like art. I'm actually starting to find that art is just becoming, it's just a really cool thing. I mean, you know, it, it's really neat. I used to think that, uh, those, you know, paintings and such are just, why, why do you draw like that? You know, like these just weird abstract art stuff. I just never understood it. I didn't like it. But I actually think it's pretty cool now. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not, it's not going to be like, a, like, I'm not going to be able to like draw, like, I'm pretty sure this, after I take this class, I will not be able to, like, draw a super photorealistic portrait of this house. But some of his students, um, who are in his more advanced classes, can actually do that, and it's amazing. But I'm not really going to be into that type of detail, or going into that much depth. I just want to, you know, I've always enjoyed art classes. And let's see, what comes fourth? Oh yeah, fourth I'm taking architectural drafting. Uh, right now I'm taking engineering drafting. Uh, but then I'm, uh, next semester, fourth block, I'm taking architectural drafting. So that should be fun. Hopefully, I will be able to, uh, like that as just as much as I like this. I'm thinking I actually will. Because I really, really like engineering drafting. I really do. It's so easy. It is so easy. But, actually, I really would recommend that everybody take a drafting class in their high school years. Or if not, if you haven't, then in your college years. Or if you haven't then, just learn how to draft, or just look up drafting tut tutorials and such. If I can talk, my throat's drying up. Because drafting is a very universal skill. I'm not really interested in making it become a career. But, the reason why I'm taking uh, architectural drafting next semester is because it's actually a really universal skill in my opinion. You know, you can use it with any career basically. You know, any career. I want to do something with computers. Engineering drafting, I'll be able to, if I wanted to say design a computer for whatever reason, I could draw it out. I could do the multi views and I could draw out each part, you know, know how to do all that stuff, know how to use my tools like my compass, and I've become very proficient with a compass. You know, you know, you, you might hate compasses. You know, if you don't take a drafting class, you probably despise compasses. But I've become very proficient with my compass. At least I think I have. I mean, I'm still a little bit clumsy. 
you know, actually, I've used my compass for the first time in several weeks. Uh, I think, I believe this past week. And I was a little bit clumsy with it, but, you know, it's actually, I've found that compasses are very easy to use now. So, yeah. And, you know, using your triangles and your protractors and your whatever and your different pencils and such like that. I believe this is the first time ever that I've used like a number six pencil. Yeah, a number six pencil. Yeah, that's like to draw a fine line. It's called a construction line. It's pretty good. Anyways, guys, I'm just sort of walking around now. Just wanted to be do another outside video before the snow before the snow came. They are calling for snow on Monday. I'm honestly not expecting it to be anything major. I, I might have sound, made it sound like it's going to be something major. But I'm actually not going to ex expecting it to be anything too major. I imagine, if anything, we're going to have a delay on Monday. You know, I if anything. I mean, we, it, it is still possible we could cancel, but eh, I, don't, I really don't think so. With our new superintendent, no way. Just no way. I, I think it'll be a two-hour delay. And that is the maximum amount. I don't even know. Well, we might have... I think two-hour delays just come with limited bus routes, but... Anyways, guys, I've got spider webs all over me. So I'm going to go in now where you can catch my breath and get some drink. I think I might go out and get some lunch. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thanks for watching, and adios.